Well, our CBS4 continuing investigation shows several Indianapolis bars remain open despite a pattern of police runs for violent crime. The state's Alcohol and Tobacco Commission has policies to handle problem establishments, but we found lax enforcement. Now, CBS4's Courtney Crown is asking the state what solutions are possible. Tonight, state lawmakers are elaborating on what they can do to make the handful of problem bars in Marion County safer for the community. I think that they've got the attention of everybody in this. State Senator Ron Alting says a Fox 59 and Indy Star investigation into the efforts at varying levels to curtail violent crime in Indianapolis bars is being discussed among lawmakers and agencies. Alting says the Alcohol and Tobacco Commission is too underfunded and understaffed to handle enforcing the alcohol laws. I think you'll see in the budget some extra money that will bump them up. Currently it's a long process to remove a bar's license to operate. Alting says he's looking into ways to make the process faster. When the ATC sends in the papers of an infraction that they have caused, immediately they get their attorney to file the papers and that delays it and they can still keep open by law why they're, they're going through the process. IMPD Captain Christopher Boomershein, who leads the unit patrolling bars, says current state law prevents police from holding owners accountable outside of alcohol violations. We can't charge a premises for being a nuisance bar under that statute if most of its violations are or acts of violence. Boomer shines encouraged to see the state's interest in addressing troubled bars. He hasn't heard from the ATC yet, nor Alting, but hopes to collaborate soon. We would like to see laws that, that allow an earlier intervention. Alting says any changes to the ATC policies will come from the agency and the governor's office. The governor says he is not going to quote roadblock local communities helping themselves. It's Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. You can find our extensive reporting on several indie bars at CBS4Indy.com. We'll continue to track changes, if any, state lawmakers make to address crime at those establishments.